question, not whether that information is actually acquired. Right. But according to almost everything that we've studied about uh, remote viewing or psi, <clears throat> it's independent of time and in independent of space. Uh, it can be reached. Uh, so the possibility for this mechanism always exists, so how can quantum interference ever happen if that's real? That's a good, a good opening of a can of worms. That's very good. <laughs> yes. This is our last quick question. Uh, actually, I want to just make a comment and a quick question. Um, I don't know if you're aware of some experiments that were done in the British Society for Psychical Research back in the 70s with John Hasted, where they had an experiment, um, a healer or whatever, influence the uh, path of a laser beam. They were actually able to bend the laser beam. So that kind of suggests that in your interferometer experiments, the consciousness might actually be interacting with the light itself. Uh, just to, you should know. That's right, that and that's the, the results that we consistent. saw would be consistent with that, with that kind of outcome as well. Yeah. Thank you, Dean. You're welcome.